It reminds me. <laughs> it reminds me of cat food. It's like pretty elegant. Oh, I smell like salmon. Hi, I'm Becca from the Good Housekeeping Food Team. We're in the Innovation Kitchen cooking recipes from the past. We're diving deep into the Good Housekeeping archives in the hopes of uncovering some hidden treasures. I kind of love this. I'm gonna recreate them to the best of my ability and then have a taste test to see how they stack up against our modern palette. All from our handy dandy toaster time machine. You put in a piece of toast, out comes a vintage recipe from our Good Housekeeping archives. Let's see where we're going today. Or should I say, when? Nineteen sixty-seven. Fork and spoon chicken cantaloupe salad. Half cup bottled Italian dressing. Quarter cup mayonnaise. Eighth of a teaspoon pepper. Third cup diced celery. Two tablespoons sliced scallions. Four cups cut up cooked chicken. Two cantaloupes. Watercress. Fill cantaloupe halves with chicken salad. Garnish each half with four sprigs of cress. What's with the desire to fill a cantaloupe? with a chicken salad. Just leave the cantaloupe alone. Okay, so first we're gonna make our dressing in a medium bowl. Mix together your exotic Italian dressing. It has been explained to me that Italian dressing was an exotic ingredient in 1967. Wild. <laughs> some mayo, a quarter cup, which I do love. Oh, some salt and some pep. Just kidding. <laughs> we don't need any. It's all in the Italian dressing. And then the celery and the scallions. It's the most bizarre chunky consistency. Now we're gonna add our chicken. It's pretty liquidy. It reminds me of like school lunch chicken salad. Okay, have cantaloupes remove seeds, refrigerate covered. If you're party cleaning, we're not. We're throwing this fiesta right now. So we're gonna take the seeds out. We're gonna fill each half with some of our beautiful chicken salad. And there is a garnish. Four sprigs of grass. Very specific. So this is one sprig. One, two. How easy was that? I think that's a trademarked phrase. <laughs> it's really sad food. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. Filling a cantaloupe with chicken salad. Um, it's called spoon and fork chicken salad in a cantaloupe. I, I just think. so happen to have both of those. It feels like there's something happening with that chicken salad. It's got Italian dressing in it. Oh, right on. A splash of Italian inside a cantaloupe. It is, an, I admittedly, I can't even cheers you to this situation because. You're not looking forward to this. I just. I can't say I am. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm just not a chicken salad fan in general. I can't. Now I can do it. Sure. Cheers. I mean, I still don't like chicken salad, even though this has Italian dressing on it. Mm -hmm. But the whole Italian dressing cantaloupe combo isn't crazy. It's like a little zesty. I, I'm not sure. I'd rather just have them separate. But I'm gonna say I don't need to be served this ever again. Really. <laughs> I don't want to eat it ever again. The whole cantaloupe becomes a vessel. Mm, a bread to, bowl. To carry anything. I don't, let's leave chicken behind. Mm. What else, what else does it carry? This was 1967. Mm. I'm sure it was carrying a lot of stuff. Maybe it was carrying jello. Oh, jello. Maybe a little sorbet, palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say the chicken salad stuffed cantaloupe should remain in the archives. I right. never, okay. ever surface again. Goodbye. Ever. Nineteen fifty-eight. Ham grape pickups. Twelve scalloped round crackers. One, 
two and a quarter ounce canned deviled ham. Mm. <laughs> About a quarter cup commercial sour cream. Six halved pitted green grapes. I don't even know what deviled ham actually is. Um, it definitely comes in a can, no? Scalloped round cracker, that feels like a Ritz. It's the weight of my heart. A little Ritz. I'm gonna make some ham grape pickups, which is a nice little appy for your uh, 1958 party. We've got our <laughs> scalloped round crackers. I do love a Ritz. So we have a can of deviled ham. We also have some lovely homemade deviled ham in case this is gnarly. I'm not the deviled ham expert. I've only ever had it homemade, which is pretty bougie. It's like a pureed ham with other stuff in it. This looks congealed. I feel like I should try it because you're supposed to try your ingredients. It reminds me <laughs> it reminds me of cat food. We're gonna go with this one. This makes 12 appies. And then we're gonna need six grapes. Why would you slice a grape in half? This is so strange. And I'm gonna spread each cracker with some deviled ham just before serving, because I'm getting ready for my party. I'm spreading the cat food, the homemade cat food, on my trusty, trusty Ritz. I mean, I would eat this absolutely as is. I don't think that I'm gonna eat it once we put some grapes on top. So now, a small mound of sour cream. Doesn't that look tasty? We press a grape half rounded side up, so the flat side down like this. It's like a little Halloween party app. All we need is a little peppercorn and then it's an ogre eye. I'm not sure that my husband's boss would be all that impressed. <laughs> Wherever you are, husband. <laughs> Babe is not getting the promotion with these. Okay, so now we have our lovely tiered cake stand. And I'm just gonna daintily place my ham grape pickups. <laughs> Perfect for the party. I regret putting so much sour cream on them now. Mm. There's like a lot of cold and wet <laughs> going on, which is gross. I mean, Grapes with savory things, like a cheese plate, makes sense. I'm not offended. I'm not appalled. I put too much sour cream on, <laughs> though. No. I brought you an appy. That is some appy. Ham grape pickups. A pickup! I kind of like that. Maybe we should bring pickup back. Maybe, Maybe not these pickups, but... Oh, you've had one. Yeah, I was snacking earlier. I was gonna say I like the idea of a pickup, like instead of finger food. Oh yeah. Or dirt. I totally we like that idea. Start calling things pickup. Great. Um. Okay. After you. Right. I'm just gonna spin it. I wonder if I spin it really fast, it'll go back in time and stay there forever. Nope. Still here. Ooh, it's gotten soggy. <clears throat> <laughs> Cheers. Woo. And this is sort of like a one biter. It's gonna be yeah, like it's real a throwback. Tore it up. <laughs> oh, you did it! <laughs> I feel like I have to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. The idea of it is actually pretty good. It's good. Whatever she says, don't listen. This is good. It's deviled ham, sour cream. If it was mayo, I might feel differently, but that's just my issue. Um, mm -hmm. This is good. If you do want to try this at home, and you're going to spend the time to top your buttery Ritz crackers with deviled ham and sour cream, and you have Jai Gunda grapes like these, I would slice them. I would slice them into rings. Then you'd have like two little rings. It might oh, be a little that's pretty. Cute. 
And I'm making these for my husband's boss who's coming over for a promotion. I think he'd pick these up. He sure would pick them up. Might put them down again. I don't think he would, not once he gets past visually. Mm -hmm. And if you slice the grapes, I think you're good. He'll get the promotion. Great. Okay. You know my favorite. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments below. Subscribe to GH and comment below to let us know where you think we should go next time with that toaster time machine. Thank you.